Hello everyone. So today we are going to see the ready-made strategy templates in Bulls AI. To access that, we'll click on Phoenix. We'll scroll down and we'll click on Explore Ready Templates. Under Explore Ready Templates, these are all the templates which you can use to run your own strategy, create and run your own strategy. So today we are going to talk about Bollinger Bands. In the Bollinger Band divisions, we have simple Bollinger Bands and we have mean reversion Bollinger Bands. Let's see what is simple Bollinger Bands. I'll click on code. This is the code for simple Bollinger Bands. If I click on the tweak strategy parameter, I can see two parameters can be changed and ran. That is a standard deviation and the time period. Let me show you how you can use it for yourself and run this. Just go down and click on save. After clicking on save, click on continue. After clicking on continue, the first thing which you do is click on the tweak strategy. In tweak strategy, select the segment and the stock which you want. I'll select JSW and inside the candle size, let it be 15 minutes. The standard deviation is set as 2. I can make it as 1, 1.5 or 0.5 or 2.5 or 3 or 3.5, maximum 4. Time period, I can go for 14, 21, whatever I want. Okay. I'll scroll down and click on save. After saving it, over here, I'll click on save and start. In save and start, there are three options, whatever you can use. Right now, the market is not open, so I cannot run the paper trading. But what I can do is the back testing. Click on the back testing, select the time duration. I'll select it as three months. I'll close it. Uh, let, let the quantity be as it is 100. PL tracker is okay. Fine. I don't want to set any PL tracker. I don't want to put any stop loss, uh, fixed stop loss, or fixed uh, uh, target levels. And then I'll click on back test. As you can see, the back test is starting and it's running. I click on data and I click on refresh the logs will start to come in, uh, in some time. Meanwhile, let's see uh, the other one that is again in the same strategy templates, the mean reversion Bollinger Bands. I'll click on the code. So this is also very same. So this strategy captures mean reversion price movements using Bollinger Bands. It enters a buy when price bounces up from below the lower band and sell when price drops after touching the upper band. Positions are exited when reversal behavior is detected. Similarly, our simple Bollinger Bands works on the same condition, but the difference between those two is the mean reversion Bollinger Bands only checks the previous candle open and the low and compares it with the lower band value. And it checks if the latest candle close is greater than the previous candle close. Then only it enters a buy. Well. Talking about the simple Bollinger Bands, it checks the previous candles open, high, low, close, everything, which should be less than the lower ba band value and as well as the latest candle close should be greater than the previous candle close. Now, as I can see, the back testing is done. If I click on refresh, I have got all the data which I need. Over here, I can see the logs, the runtime logs as well, the PNL table. If I click on analytics, I can see the analytics right now. You can see all the curves, everything has been generated. So this was Bollinger Bands and thank you everyone. I'll see you in the next video.